Hello Libra, this is your August 2023 monthly reading. So we are going to get into it. I've laid out your cards, sun, moon, rising, obviously. Um, I do have a time frame. Um, time is fluid. I'm sure you heard this on other readers. Um, so this could pertain to right now or something I'm talking about in the near future could be right now. It, it all depends on like your personal astrology and energy surrounding you that are interacting with that um is a general reading so take what resonates and you know the rest just you say whatever <laughs> all right um so here we go let's see here i've got you currently winning something you could be winning a battle um, with your own thoughts. You could have been conflicted about something for a while. And that could be what you are being gifted with at this time presently. That you're getting, you're, you're winning that personal battle with yourself. However, I tend to think that this is something to do with a situation that is arising. Um, the, the, the reason I say this is because the Five of Swords typically is like winning a losing battle. So, it, it, and in the sense where it's still, it's still a loss in some sort of way for you because there's disappointment of what the other person has to experience on the other side of that so you you're the winner you're the victor right in a situation but yet somebody else is like you know you might care about that person or even if you really don't there's something about having to have gone through the battle um that's unpleasant so it wasn't really worth it i mean it's great that you came out on top but it wasn't really worth it anyway for the whole thing to have happened. If it didn't happen, it probably would have been better, right? Um, but for some reason, it's it's in the reverse. I just get this feeling like there is some sort of confrontation, argument, challenge with two different perspectives, two different thoughts, a uh, uh, school of thoughts. And in the reverse, I'm thinking that that means that nobody is going to win this situation, that there will be a loss. of some kind. And it's like your happiness is something that's involved here. Sorry, I'm I'm like waving the incense out of the way because it's just blowing right in my face. Um your happiness is something that is pertinent to this battle, this this argument. There is something about, well, let's just get into what's, what's kind of crossing the situation. We have the sign of Aquarius coming in and Aquarius is about the future and what your, it's like your future is kind of coming up against your present and causing a little bit of conflict. Like what your destiny is, is kind of either helping or hindering the situation with this, with this uh, conflict of interest here. Because I have this kind of I mean, Aquarius is a very communication-oriented sign. 
And so isn't the Five of Swords. It's a very communi communication. It's all about, you know, challenging communications or debating with somebody else. And, and somebody has to be right in the situation for, in order for the situation to go through. In this circumstance, nobody is really wrong or nobody's really right. It's about personal... Um, uh, your own personal needs or desires versus, or your own personal happiness versus somebody else who is maybe changing their, their thoughts on a matter or changing their, uh, I don't want to say stance, Maybe they are changing their stance. Somebody else could be sad in a situation. Someone could be confused or having depression or going through something in your life. This person could be an Aquarius. They could be, um, I mean, the, the house that's affected could be Aquarius in their chart. I mean, only you are going to know if, if it places. Aquarius is also the ruler of the 11th house, right? And so the 11th house deals with the future and goals and technology and all these friends and associates and there's all that. And it's also the house of wishes, um, your most deepest desires being fulfilled. And it seems like two people's desires are in conflict with one another. One person could be going through quite the struggle and the other person is on the up. Like there's um, a kind of a blossoming of happiness and fulfillment and, and so they are their energies aren't mixing. It's as if one person is exuding the CO2, the carbon dioxide, the chemicals, the, the crap is, is coming out of them, they're dealing with, and the other person is kind of not really, it's like, they're not doing it on purpose. You're not doing it on purpose. But it's almost causing you to... It's almost feeding you in some sort of way. It's kind of... Um, you're able to grow through their, their troubles. And they might be a little bit upset about that. I don't know if it's a personal, necessarily a personal thing. Um, there could be some, if this could be speaking about a couple different people in your life. So as I go through, you know, the whole story might not just fit one person. It might be like this part fits this person, this part is, goes with this person, etc. So different relationships uh, and different strokes for different folks for sure. Um, comes through, but there's like this, somebody else having a hard time and you're having a good time, you're winning, but you're both in very close proximity to another and there is this rubbing up, this friction that is being created. Um, there is a healing of depression that may be coming to the other person, but I think that's more in the future. I don't think that's current. I think that they're going through something hard right now. And you are having a blow up of some kind. And so in the, oh, I'll just get into the thoughts area. You're thinking about your soul spiritual purpose. But 
I feel like you already know kind of what your spiritual purpose is. I think you're looking to meet like-minded individuals, like your tribe, a spiritual tribe, somebody who gets you on a spiritual level. Um, this could be also thinking about going to a an organization that is set up for these types of things. Um, this could be also looking to date people who are of the same spirituality as you. Um, there's something here about what you're thinking about involving spirituality and involving your social life, how that, how that flows together. This also might be partly what's causing this rift or this friction between you and somebody else. You're spiritually changing and evolving and that's showing up on the, on the external and the other person is still kind of caught up in their cycle and they're not able to be at your level anymore. You've shifted, you've outgrown each other in some sort of way. Um, there's also at the bottom of your Lenorma, I have the ring card, which is about commitments and contracts and agreements and compromise. And, um, then we have at the bottom of your, the tarot that I'm working with, you are dealing with great change, power, um, um, I don't want to say power trips. What's, what's the word? Power, power in itself. It's about energy being transformed. And um, there's a transformation of, of relationships is the underlying theme of all of this. So this could be friends, family, relationships. I mean, there's a transformation of some sort of relationship going on for sure in this reading. And the reason I'm willing to bet is because in the past, I have this reciprocity, this generosity, this movement of energy, this divvying up of giving back and forth. There's a, an exchange of energy in the physical with a friend, someone that you trusted, someone that you, you could rely on, someone could rely on you. Um, there's a bond there. There's an ally there. And in the future, I have the snake and the five of cups, which means loss from betrayal to me. Or loss because, yeah, betrayal is the most general kind of thing I can think of. Um, something quietly going away. Someone quietly going away. Um, that you cared about, that you loved, that, that you feel the void. You, you're grieving. This, this quietly going away. What, whoever it was, whatever it was, there was, there is some sort of feeling betrayed by it. By the process of the, the grief. Um, and what you're not aware of about the situation is that there's deep down the dream that you're building or the dream that you built, this happiness that you are attaining Venus and Pisces, right? I think it's Venus and Pisces, the, the Ten of Cups. This complete fulfillment emotionally in your world, I mean, with the Aquarius here, maybe you couldn't see this dream coming in, and then with the clouds, it just... The clouds covered your dream. You know, you didn't, you couldn't see that far away in the future. But you're not aware of is you've attained this. You've accomplished this. 
And so I can look at this a couple different ways because it could be with somebody else that you're having this, this rift with, this friction, these opposing energies. Or these could be energies of the present you and the future you from now into the future. But this, at one point, was the future you. You got this exchange of energy, this generosity, this help, this, this loyalty, this companionship. And maybe the future you, the new you, is conflicted with what you've built so far. That you've changed. The relationship with yourself has changed and you've changed in relationship to everything around you. Because you can't change one thing and not change everything else a little bit. So it's either you that's having a problem with yourself changing or somebody else is having a problem with you changing and them not being able to change. They're not able to catch up to you or I don't, it could be jealousy as well because I do have the snake here and the snake can be about jealousy. You might not know, not have known that this person was jealous of you or that this person was conflicted in some sort of way or going to betray you or will betray you or will go away quietly. But there's something here about that. If not, this could be some sort of midlife crisis of some sort of having gotten to the point where you were struggling so hard to meet societal standards or your own standards, your own wishes and dreams, and then you got there and you regress a little bit because you're like, what the hell is going on? I don't want this anymore. And so there's something about that here. I do think, though, it, you, there is a loss of some sort of friendship of some kind. And I hate to talk about it because it's such a sad thing to go through. But there is something about you thinking about who to meet that is on the same spiritual level as you. And there's this yearning probably for you to find somebody else who's going to meet you at, at the same level. Whether that's a church, whether that's a group of some kind that just has the same kind of spiritual beliefs as you, your spirit, your soul tribe, you're, you're thinking about a soul tribe. You're, you're thinking about meeting a soul tribe. There's, there could be a spiritual gathering of significance that you're thinking about during this time. Um, it could be a celebration that you're invited to that kicks off some sort of spiritual journey that you're going to be on. Or you might meet up with an old friend from the past And somehow there's something that has to do with Pisces is also the house of the hidden enemy. So an old friend could be somebody who doesn't have your back anymore. And you might find out about this on social media because of the Aquarius. Like maybe they don't want you to see their social media. Maybe for some reason... You can't access certain things on, on their social media. Maybe you belong to some spiritual... Um, you might be thinking about joining a spiritual group as well um, that's, that's online. Anyway, anyway, so 
this is what I'm getting from this. Uh, what you're not aware of, you've built a dream, but you feel alone. Or you built a castle that you've, that you kind of, there's, there's a solidarity with this. It might have taken a really long time to build this dream, and now you feel kind of alone, but happy at the same time, maybe. Sad about being alone. Confused about who's your friend as well. There's this kind of... Yeah, the dream has been built, and yet I'm still alone. And I really feel like it's not rom... Well, actually... It could be romantic. You could have been betrayed by a past partner. You might have been friends with somebody for a while, dating casually, and then it progressed from friends to more of a serious thing. And then you something happened where you were doing good, this person was not doing good. Um, they could have had an associate of some kind that you didn't, or, or, or a coworker of some kind that you didn't, they didn't want you to meet or something, and it was because they were having an affair. But, I don't know. It doesn't feel, it feels more like the betrayal comes from a friend. Or has come from a friend. If it is a love partner that it is not working out with, you will feel the loss and feel betrayed by the loss, or they will, but they'll be a quietly going away. So you might not know that this person is planning to leave, or they might not know you're planning to leave. There's an inability to see, so it's a kind of like, uh, it's as if a vapor leaves the room. This is also regarding, like, You, says, I see saging here to banish. So it's like you, your, your energy is, is pushing this other person. It's pushing them away. And, and maybe you're not meaning to do that. Or maybe they're not meaning to do that to you. I feel like it's your energy though. Because you're not, your, your card here. The first house. I just feel like it's your energy is is uh, now not a, on the same frequency, and so it is pushing this other person out, and you don't want them to leave. I don't think you don't want them to um, to go. It's like you've built a dream here, and you don't have anybody to share it with. You also might not know that whatever you've been working on in terms of if you were starting a business or an organization of some kind, you, you might not know that it's already, uh, you've already attained it. It's, it's already getting, it's already getting there. It's already like manifested. You just are distracted maybe by this. Or maybe you've been in a, in, a, in a team effort situation, co-pilot situation, but really deep down, what would, make, what would make you happier is being alone. What your advice is? Your advice is to move out of troubled times, troubled thoughts, experiences, into better and to stay to stabilize your mental um 
<clears throat> your mental state. And this could just be about your mental state or this could be about your physical place of being. I do have this, it's like a, the card of um, the refugee. You yourself could be a refugee, um, but if not like a, the most literal sense of the word, it is finding refuge somewhere else after a time of conflict, of disaster, of, of struggle. Um, this can also be a, I mean, I sure hope it isn't, but this can be like natural disaster. I don't have the tower and from the tarot the tower in the Lenormand is not the same meaning as the tower in the tarot. However, because I have this card here, moving to find a stable place to set up, moving to a spot where you can call, like, th that's pe more peaceful and, and, and is more secure for yourself. I can't help but think that something happened in a home setting situation. Um, that something went awry in a living dynamic of some kind. Now, the tower can be a card of the city as well in the Lenormand. It can be what will make you most happy is being in the city, and yet here you are, think, with your head in the country. It's, like, it's as if they're opposing each other. What you know, what is in front of you, and what you can't see. So, a change is happening in a relationship to yourself, with other and with other people in your life you've changed so everything else is going to change around you and what you wanted might not be what you need anymore you're being asked to move out of the area that's challenging and conflicting and set up shop somewhere else that will make you that'll be more peaceful for you that you'll be able to find more opportunity that you'll be able to thrive Your career is being called into question here. You might be asked to change careers. You're moving out of one really troublesome issue job and asked to be more career focused right now. Uh, think long term. Take the negative thoughts and think positive thoughts and think the long term. Okay. So, Libra. It's, it's quite amazing how... Okay. The eighth house placement and the eighth card placement. When I read it, I read it as like, this is the... Um, other people in your life, okay, and how they're viewing you or your situation at this time. But then I read it as the eighth house, like a birth chart. And so occult studies are quite pertinent here. So if you practice any kind of occultism, witchcraft, anything like that, that... I see that here. Esoteric knowledge. Sacred, hidden, taboo knowledge. And you're quite getting good at it because I do have 
this Eight of Pentacles here, which is mastery of a talent or skill. It's staying up all hours of the night, eating, drinking, sleeping, this thing. It's the number eight has to do with power. That's the tangible kind of you know, the knowledge is power type dynamic. And the secrecy and privacy of the book. This is not something that everybody is adopted into. If you're being initiated into some kind of um, practice, that's what this could be about. It's a private or private secretive practice. Um, this is also talking about your spirituality being like creative in a way there's this element of creativity that comes from this so you might be incorporating your spirituality in your craft of some kind or your your spiritual practice um, or your artistic excuse me you might be incorporating your spiritual practices into your artistic endeavors This can be about somebody um, learning about the Bible, more, more straight up, just learning about the Bible and um, creation, the creation story. I mean, that's, that's how bit, like basic mundane I can get. But this is also, a, has a lot to do with, because it's in the eighth house, I'd say, if it was in the ninth house with the cross and and the book, then I'd say like maybe more of a um, religious kind of thing. But this is a personal, private, spiritual practice or something you do in private that is spiritual. That is you, you're refining, you are um, you're mastering, and you're putting your own touches on it now versus following things by the book you've you've gone to the next level and are progressing this can be um about astrology um you might have some leo placements in your chart um or somebody else in your life that you're going to meet at a spiritual meeting of some kind might be a Leo they're going to have some significance that they have a resource that you might need in order to further your studies um, and your practice or your um, your skill set of some kind in regards to spirituality um, and making money from I, I think that there's like some monetary kind of Thing. There's an exchange here. In the past, I do see that that friend having, you know, there was a loyalty and a trust with giving people, exchanging energies, money, etc. in the past. But it feels like here, there's something about... You, you've gone two pentacles ahead of yourself. You've done some more work and you've really kind of done some personal alchemy with something in your life and you've, you've gotten a, a skill set. You could be learning a skill from somebody else that they're sharing with you in regards to this. Um, I don't know... It might be a burden, I got this in another reading too, but it might be a burden to find privacy because you share space with somebody else um, in, order to, in order to um, learn a 
a skill set of some kind or, or to do work um, or express yourself the way you want to. You might be burdened by someone else's um, dra uh, dramatics, their antics, their, their playing of sports or leisurely activities. There's something that's kind of loud and expressive that's kind of a struggle and you that it's like you want to work and find quiet time and this other person is like uh, a burden because they're they're playful or being silly or, or too loud or there's something here about these energies not mixing well anymore things are changing And it seems like, because this is the 8th house, I can't help but feel it's the shared resources, the assets, the the contract with that, and having to do with money, um, and just having to kind of break, break some kind of tie with that or something as well. Okay, I'm going to move on from this. If it's, this also could be about, mm, this also could be about, like, records of, of the past having to do with, know why this is coming through but I'm just gonna say it because it's coming through um, dead players or or some sort of a burden during a game of some kind some sort of leisurely activities that are a burden or or the person has passed on into spirit there's something here this also is a, is a being really skilled at like um, some sort of team, it's like a team, um, playing for a college sports team that is, just happens to be a Catholic school, so... This can have to do with a loan to go to school to play sports as well for somebody. On scholarship type situation. That's not going to apply for everybody, but I'm throwing it out there. Um, the Hermit in the Ninth House. He, he is looking to the immediate future. However, because he's the placement that's further along in the game, closer to the end, I'm going to see him as looking at the past, okay? So, not too far beyond the near future, I see somebody having to... Or going to a place that's further out of their reach than normal in order to deal with some health matter or go to a specialist that is farther away because of some loss of some kind or or some kind of a situation that was you there was a grieving and a quietly going away involved in their health with their health issues. So maybe there was a loss of, of blood flow to a certain area. Um, there's a numbness or something. Um, it can just fit it where it applies. Um, this could be um, about literally having to 
purge toxins from the body. Um, this can be about um, getting rid of an infection in the body, okay? Um, and so there's a going back to somebody in the past where you've recently had to deal with something like that in regards to your health. This is also about losing toxicity or letting go of toxicity in our lives and grieving um, maybe potentially a bad habit. I don't really have the cards that would indicate that specifically, but this can be giving up anything that's become toxic to us that's um, it's going through withdrawals. This is what that there's, there's a withdrawal in the near future, which, which could be from this situation with another person. From grieving your past self, there's a withdrawal that you're going to feel. Metaphorically, physically, metaphysically, okay? In the near future, I see withdrawal. This could be playing into this part of your, your chart. And, and this is also what you are hoping for or fearing. I think you're worried about having to start all over from scratch by yourself, maybe a little bit. This is a very hermit energy. This is also a very loner energy. They're both loner energies. And then I have the tree card, which is about what we're growing. And next to the hermit, I can't help but definitely consider a health thing. So, but it also is about family and about tribe and um, prosperity and abundance and all kinds of things. So, it's about our ancestry as well. So, you might be looking to or hoping that somebody in your family or your ancestry might have the answers that you seek in regards to a health matter. So there could be something about you were diagnosed with something in the past and there were because or there was some kind of issue. So you're going back to your past to kind of deal with this past issue and tie up loose ends with that. Get rid of some toxicity that was there within the physical body or within the emotional body. And then this, this growth, by, by being alone, you're hoping that you'll be able to grow. You'll, you're hoping that you'll be able to blossom more out of a situation that was full of loss and regret and remorse and toxicity. Um, but yet, you looking to the past from being like, or you're hoping that this situation, whatever this was, this rift of some kind with yourself or with someone else, can be healed, that it can, there can be growth there from this situation. By taking time alone and reflecting and you're hoping that this can grow into something stronger or um, make you grow stronger in some sort of way. Your health, you're hoping that you can get your health in order. <clears throat> by getting away from something that was toxic and being with your own energy. There's like a regeneration from being in your own energy. This can also have to do with Isolating yourself from your family because of some sort of betrayal or loss that had to do with 
a battle within the family as well. I don't really see Aquarius as like the sign of family. I see Capricorn as family and um, oh, excuse me, no, the Ten of Cups, and we have the House card at the end there. So this could have to do with the family member feeling betrayed and then having gone off on your own. What you, what you don't realize is you're happy or alone. This is also about seeking, like, without actually trying, like, leaving the light on in the darkness after a dark time. So the hermit... He goes off on his own, and he leaves his light on, his lantern. He doesn't have it in this card, but, you know, bear with me. It's a different kind of thing. He, he, he meets this deer, right? He finds his tribe. It might not be exactly what people find normal, a normal relationship, or, but there's something different about this relationship. He has, he has a relationship to... The natural world, right? He is in sync with it because he's gone off to get away from society in some sort of way. Some sort of culture change is on the horizon for you where you might meet somebody else that, that shares this spiritual kind of vibe. But there's growth here from going off on your own. It's like you needed to, to retract yourself in order to gain the wisdom you needed to get away from anything, any kind of toxic behaviors or um, feeling like you're always at a loss for something or you're feeling betrayed um, or feeling conflicted about some kind of toxicity that's been going on and this is like getting healthy getting that tribe at a distance maybe your people are further than where you've been now you've come so far and now you need to go far in order to find the people that you've and you can do that through the internet as well like so there's this kind of Seeking, seeking tribe here. And the hermit is also um, the natural healer, right? He's the one that's wise, that's out um, scaven scavenging herbs and fruit and all kinds of uh, medicinal uses of plants as well. So... There's something here about philosophies on that and getting back to health and being a little more analytical about your health and what toxicities and, and stress has done, emotional stress has done to your health and how to heal that. And there might be some philosophy of healing and health that is from another culture or um, there's a doctor that's a little bit further out of your reach that is going to help you with this. Now, in terms of your reputation, I don't know. It seems like at work, in your career, your reputation, there is love. There, you, you might meet somebody. If, you, if this is all about a job situation, you've moved out of a really trying time in your, in your work life and you're moving into a career that you're going to meet a romantic partner at or this partnership in career is going to be like a labor of like love 
you're going to love working for them or you're going to really love this partnership or there's going to be a compromise and and just harm, harmony and and mutual um, feelings of appreciation um, that are going to go into this new job, if that's what this is. If it is you moving to a new job and it's talking about multiple layers of that, I see that you can meet love at work. Um, and this lover might be the spiritual tribe that we're talk we've been talking about finding. Um, this person might see that you have a talent for something esoteric or metaphysical of some kind, or they might. And um, they're very, they're proud of their spiritual practice or your, their, your, they're proud of your spiritual practice as well. They have pride about their spirituality. They see you as being very creative at what you do. Um, you have like a perfectionism with your creativity and that's what that's a big thing that they love about you. They really enjoy that aspect of you. This is another random thing, but there's something taboo potentially about one of you's um, jobs that you're really good at it, but it's, it's very secretive. It's a burden because you're very proud of it and you can't share it with anybody else. This could be a government job, some sort of official You love what you do, but you can't tell anybody about it. There's like a lot you're unable to share. You're burdened by your excitement about it in some sort of way. Um, okay. Sorry, I'm moving on. The outcome of the whole situation. There is some sort of... Uh, um, a finding of love. There is the reputation of, there's something here that reputes love in some sort of way. And there is a call to action that there's an email, there's a text message, there's some sort of written information that's going to make you realize that either a friend or an associate that you work with or whatever as as is in love with you there's a romantic bond there <clears throat> but there's something about in the end manifesting this structure this place that could be in love like a home, a family, manifesting a family. Um, or it can be about manifesting a business with somebody. You can apply it where you need to. Um, the King of Wands, he is a master manifester. He knows how to use his physical energy in order to make things happen and, and takes his ideas and brings them into reality. He knows how to go about doing that. You might be looking for another place and you find it. You might be working with the law of attraction as a spiritual kind of thing in order to manifest a home for yourself. 
um, there is some sort of manifestation of a family or a home or a place where people can be. Um, this is also manifesting of a location of a spiritual, um, a spiritual kind of vibe, a, a place to meet up with a spiritual kind of vibe. This is also institutions, right? So there's something about getting the attention of some sort of institution of some kind. Um, this is like um, attracting what this is about gambling maybe somebody has a gambling problem if anybody has had a gambling problem that you know and they've gone to some sort of rehab okay so that's maybe that's what this is getting in control of what you manifest and, and so there's like this rehab vibe um, if you had a lover that went to rehab, you're getting news from them. They're sending you some sort of notification. Or you might find out that somebody that you care about at your workplace has gone to rehab. That's why they quietly went away. That's a, a good, a big thing here. Somebody might have relapsed because this is looking to the past with this loss and regret and toxicity here. And so there's the health is on the other side is back. So he's not looking at that. So if that's the case, I don't have the devil card and I don't have um, the whip. So I don't want to say that that's a for sure thing. But there is something here about some partner communicating with you about a home or a place to be and that place to be ends up falling in the 12th house now the 12th house can do with dreams so it's a dream home it can be a place where you can stay or sleep some maybe it didn't work out with somebody you were living with you were rifting and um you end up meeting somebody at your job who can help you in terms of housing or you get the um you get the job you love and you get a house you get some sort of housing situation this is also generosity and help you could be getting some kind of assistance from an institution that has to do with housing It's shared resources, right? So there is something here about working really hard and sacrificing play in order to pay off some sort of loan of some kind. So you could have manifested a home for yourself and now you're your dream home and now you're able to you're working towards that and other people aren't on that page and maybe they're jealous and there's there's a whole bunch of things that could be going into this but let's go through the houses i know i did go through a lot of them already whatever it is that this finale is like a past lover might be very jealous that you have moved on and there's or a past friend might be very jealous that you've gotten a lover and that you're starting a relationship. Unfortunately, some people just can't glow up with you um, or grow up with you, one or the other or both. Um, and so there's like this kind of leaving a past toxic situation or something that has quietly gone away um, and then getting communication 
from that person that you used, that you love that maybe disappeared okay about where they've been where they're staying um etc cetera, etc cetera. finding out that they've been institutionalized or um maybe that's what the secret was is that there was just some sort of burden about something like that i don't know it's just really hard for me to pull from this now it's a little late but i feel like also you could get a love letter in the mail from somebody from your work or in the mailbox there's like these little things that are coming through now that i didn't see before Okay, so whatever the rift was, it ends up being that you meet somebody who you can connect with, that there's a balance, that there's a harmony. Um, there is some sort of formal news coming from associates or friends, um, a message. You might get communication from this person about how much they care about you, etc., and then there's something here about manifesting a family. And I really think it's, it means a tribe, your spiritual tribe here on earth. That you've gone through this change, that the relationships you had before no longer resonate. You are moving into new ones. Let's go through the houses real quick. First house, five of swords and the bouquet. Um, you're looking beautiful. Um, there is some sort of battle that you, with your physical body that you've been going through. Um, whatever that was, whether it was acne on your face, it would probably have to do with something to do with your face. Um, it's clearing up. It's, you're much happier now and you're, you're glowing and you're, you've, you've gotten over it. Um, or you found a way to, you're doing your makeup differently or something and it's just, it, it's, it's working out. So there is like a battle that you're coming up of uh, victorious in, in regards to your physical body or how you present yourself. Um, like I said, your glow up might be pissing somebody else off. Um, your your resources, your values, your money. Um, you might not be able to see what the future holds in terms of your resources or, or money at this time. It might be kind of muddled or confusing. Um, that might be conflicting you as well. Um, Maybe you're really putting in your best, um, putting your best face forward right now in order to make sure that you're ensuring um, positivity and um, trying to attract the right things to, towards you by being, um, presenting yourself in a different kind of manner. Whatever strange mental fog you've been going through um, could be clearing up soon. Um, this is also about the collective or humanity. So societal views of, you might be like giving into some beauty standard, I'm not gonna lie, um, in order to kind of or doing your makeup differently or something. There's something like you're, you're doing something that you normally don't do, but you're doing it in a, you're not, you're not going to meet all, you're not going to do it the same as everybody else or something unique about whatever kind of cosmetic thing you're doing with yourself. Um, third house, 
cousins, neighbors, friends. I think like locally you might finally meet somebody who's a spiritual match to you. Um, or you might finally start going to church and you're in, down the street from your, you know, or you're just going to be spending a lot of time at church maybe. I don't know. That, that's just something spiritual, spiritual meetups, spiritual groups. Um, this could be a spiritual um, coming of age, like uh, land, oh, I always say landmark. What I re really want to say is um, pivotal point in someone's life, like a first communion bar mitzvah, um, wedding, um, any kind of hand fasting, any kind of something like that. Um, initiation as well, ceremony. There's something here about like meeting up with people. Um, it also could be a water park, I'm not gonna lie, like going on a date at a water park or having um, a trip to the beach or um, something about water here and hanging out with friends or meeting friends by the water. Um, that's closest to your house. Um, or where you live or where you stay. So the fourth house, your home, there is something about you'll be very happy when you're alone at home during this period. Feel like you'll be able to um, really enjoy your alone time with your, you know, this is, I'm assuming this is not necessarily speaking to family. It could be that you're happy being alone with your family at home, um, but I feel like this is also going to be about you getting alone time from everybody at home by yourself. Um, you could also have a um, home or family business that is doing really well. You might be very happy about that. Your f fifth house, a friend and you could I don't know I feel like some of you want to have a sexual relationship with somebody that you trust and you're trying to decide which one of the people that are potential for that could be could could be that person um, there's also this kind of loyalty to your creative projects. Um, you, you're, you're spending a generous amount of time doing those more now. Um, you could be involving a new friend you met at church to do this in your local area, or you might be going to a church that offers programs for art or creativity of some kind. In the six house of health, cutting out toxicity, uh, toxic habits, bad habits. Um, there, if there was any kind of if there was any kind of toxic love situation that was affecting your health or your daily routine, or um, even your pets, something toxic that could be, maybe there was something toxic that like led to a pet getting sick or something. Um, you're cutting out toxic things in order to um, better the health of pets, your daily routine, um, and your health. All right, so six, seventh, let's go um, relationships. Six of swords. Um, moving out of one stage of conflict with a, a relationship and relationships in general into um, some peace. If you were conflicted with, with a relationship, you'll be moving into a more peaceful resolution, a more peaceful spot and in the relationship you'll be feeling and thinking more um, clearly about it and you'll be feeling much better 
Um, and uh, this is also moving out of conflicts about whether or not the relationship should be um, solidified or about this also could be about a partnership that has ended um, and trying to figure out where someone will stay while this is this we're, we're going through this transitional period um, there's also a move and finding a spot so there's changes in relationships that are for the better and then there'll be some some stability or a um, securing that in place that'll that'll stand the test of the test of time with that running low on gasoline okay um, eighth house I said occult talents creativity that involves spirituality um, there's also playing sports for a um, I don't know reading it in the eighth house I, the sports thing doesn't really work out that well but if it's just the eighth the eighth placement it does um, somebody's burdened by their ego or somebody else's ego proud to be spiritual. There's something here about you having a taboo talent or spirituality or talent within spirituality and being proud um, of that. And other people might not see it as as you do. And that might be what this rift was about over here. Um, Ninth house, going somewhere um, at a distance by yourself to better your health, um, growing from a culture, um, taking some time out to see a culture and learn about their, and, and analyze what they do and how they do it in terms of health and, and spirituality. Uh, your reputation people are loving this harmony you bring to the table um, and your good vibes and there's somebody in your career that might be romantically um, smitten and that you might also really like as well um, your career's going pretty good if it's just an overall um, in your 11th house you might get news from a friend or an associate um, that you've been waiting waiting to hear back that that it's time to move or it's time to do something um, it's it's that call to action the news could also have to do with the future so this is a message about about um, the future of somebody else or news that pertains to, that's immediate, that pertains to somebody in your life's future as well. This is a text message from, a, you know, a past lover even, because it's got a scorpionic vibe um, that could be coming in. This is Venus retrograde, so um, maybe it's like a rebirth of that love, and that's, that's where the Two of Cups and the Heart card are coming in. Um, there's there's a healing here as well, or a revival of something. So, take it with a grain of salt. I don't know, I'm not telling anybody to get back with somebody from the past, but it is coming into play here in the cards. So, 
um, 12th house. There's something about building a dream, uh, maybe a building a new dream, manifesting a new place to be, manifesting a new family, a tribe. Um, there's this having the power to create again a new home, a new family, um, a new place, creating your own private area so you can sleep and if, if there's a crowded house or there's not enough time to have alone time there's something here about putting a divider up or um, finding the space the personal time and space to rest and rejuvenate and recuperate um, and create things building a room in your home so that you can create or uh, a spiritual practice that may require some sort of room or temple of some kind where you can manifest and dream and be present with yourself um, and spirit. Wow, Libra, you are busy. Anyway, I wish you the best and I'll see you next time. Bye.